Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice reading for the week starting June 6, 2016. Um, and this is a reading for Libra. So as always, please keep an open mind. These are general readings and so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. If you would like a private reading, just follow the link below in the description box. And for the time being, just take away the messages that do resonate with you, that make sense for you and, and your situation at this time. So Libra, in terms of overall energy of the week for you, we have the Five of Winter. And the Five of Winter is telling you that it's time to walk away from any dishonest associations, people you can't trust. Um, you could be also uh, realizing this week that what you thought you wanted maybe is not the best choice for you at this time. And you may be dealing with some people or some situations that are not worth your time, they're not worth your effort this week. With the Five of Winter, um, I feel like this is a good week for you to be um, calm and collected. And no matter what happens and what people say or do, um, think about it before you act, okay? Don't give them the satisfaction of getting a, a negative reaction out of you. I feel like you may be dealing with some um, unpleasant situations and unpleasant people, like people who are jealous or uh, people who are just trying to uh, knock your confidence down or anything like that. Um, you may be dealing with some, you know, people who are gossiping or, you know, talking about you behind your back or uh, spreading rumors or anything like that. Okay, so just be mindful of that and just focus on what you want to do and you know who you are and you know that there is no truth to whatever rumors they're spreading around. So don't even give them the satisfaction. Okay. In terms of career and finance, we have the 10 of cups and the 10 of cups talks about the happily ever after card. Um, for some of you, this talks about you are ending one job, but this is a happy ending. This is a happy conclusion. Um, so for some of you, you're retiring this week and you're ready to walk away from the difficult environment that you've been living in. Maybe you've been pressured into retiring or anything like that. So again, it's not worth it. All right. Just keep your head up high and chin up and just go ahead and get this done because there's more and better things out there for you. You could be ending a job and so this could be some kind of farewell party. However, with the five of winter, uh, things are not what they seem and people are not what they seem. So be careful what you say because I feel like it's going to come back and bite you in, in the bum. So because there's this energy like you're being happy and you're being genuine and you are being grateful to these people for throwing you a, a going away party. However, they're not what they seem and whatever you do say to them, they're going to either say to everyone else or say to your boss and maybe twist it around a little bit so that you don't look so good. So just be mindful of that and I feel like just enjoy the celebration but keep things to yourself, okay? Don't tell them where you're going and what you're doing next. Um, just enjoy the celebration, be grateful to uh, have that celebration, okay? Try not to take things personally. I feel like you can't change these people and you can't change, change um, this environment. So it's not worth worth your time and it's not worth your effort okay and whoever's trying to knock you down just don't give them any attention really don't give them the satisfaction okay um if you have a home-based business um with the five of winter you may be dealing with some difficult clients this week again they're going to try to get the upper hand okay they're going to try to do try to get you to do whatever they want you to so I feel like if you hold your ground and you're completely professional and you explain the rules and regulations to them, um, they're just going to drop it and they're just going to walk away, okay? So remain calm. Don't allow them to engage you in any kind of way. Remain calm. Uh, be technical with them. Be uh, professional. And, you know, they're not going to get it anywhere with you, so they're just going to drop it, whatever this is that they're trying to do, okay? Um, in home and family, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Pentacles, there's definitely a new offer, okay? New offers for jobs. So I feel like if you if you do have a home-based business, you're going to see an increase in your um, work, uh, your clients, the money that's coming into the house, okay? And there may be some people who are jealous. I feel like you already know who these people are. It could be some air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you know who these people are, so you, you know to just keep to yourself, just keep quiet and get on with your work because they're not really ready to be happy for you, okay? They have their own issues that make them feel jealous. Um, there may be 
approvals i feel like if you're going for approvals or loans or mortgages or anything like that um be sure that you're speaking to right to the right person when it comes to banks or institutions or anything like that okay be, be sure that you're speaking to the right person the person who is in charge of your account because i feel like there may be some intermediaries or some people trying to steal you know um, work from people or anything like that um, and they're just going to cause you more problems than they're actually going to help you. So if you can, just make sure that you're speaking to the right people, that you're speaking to the people who are actually in charge of your account. And if they're not available, ask them to recommend someone else for you to speak to. Um, in terms of love life and emotional life, we have temperance. So temperance with the five of winter, this is telling me that there may be some changes in the relationship. Okay, with the five, it talks about difficult change, a bit of a chaos energy. Um, and so I feel like if you're dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like, um, especially if this person is a bit younger than you, um, they may be going through a bit of a rough, a rough time this week and they may have a tendency to take out their stress on you. Um, again, there's no point in arguing, all right? Show them compassion, show them patience and understanding and they're going to calm down and they're going to come around and they're actually going to appreciate the fact that the two of you didn't get into an argument over something that is not for you to argue about, okay? And so there's going to be apologies and um, peace and um, and healing, okay? So I feel like, or if this is you and you're giving your partner a hard time this week, uh, try to try to be sure that whatever you're arguing about or whatever you want to argue about is actually to do with the two of you and it's not some built up energy or stress that you've been carrying around with you for another reason uh, or to do with some other people and maybe you're lashing out on them, okay? So again, um, just think, okay? Think before you say things or think before you act. Try to um, check in, okay? Just take a couple of seconds and think, is this really about them or is this about someone else? Am I really upset about this or is it some something else that's bothering me and this is just an outlet, okay? Because with temperance, um, you're encouraged to focus on balance and and harmony and patience this week. Okay, so try not to try not to let people get to you. Okay, with the five of winter, no matter what's going on, try not to let people get to you. And especially if you do have a partner, if you have a loving partner and they're there for you, um, just focus on that and focus on the love that you have for each other. Don't allow someone else's negativity to affect your relationship. It's not worth it. And for those of you who are single, I feel like this is a week when it's going to be a quiet time in terms of meeting someone. Um, but again, I feel like the people that you have around you, um, I feel like these are the people giving you advice on what you should be doing or shouldn't be doing to attract a partner. Um, the message is just take a break from these people. Just you know, spend some time on your own and do some introspection decide you know what you want in a partner and what you have to offer and just be open to meeting someone new okay stop talking to people and asking them what you should be doing and what you should be saying and so on and so forth because i feel like with the five of winter they have no clue um and some of them are trying to help you but they're giving you the wrong information and for others i feel like um you're like a project for them they're not really trying to help you okay they're just excited about the fact that you're going to do whatever they say okay so be mindful of that in your health and well-being, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And so with the Queen of Pentacles in your health and well-being, I feel like um, you could be you could be getting pregnant this week or your partner could be getting pregnant this week um, with the Queen of Pentacles. And you may want to keep it quiet. I feel like not everyone is going to be supportive of this straight away. So um, it would be a good, a good idea to just keep it quiet for now. Um, and especially, you know, to wait till you get past your first trimester because um, I do believe that people's energies and negative negativity in, in particular can affect our, our health um, if we allow it to, okay? So when you share your news with them, you're giving them the opportunity to um, express their opinions and negativity, negativity if they, that's what they want, okay? So you're inviting that basically. So if you, if you uh, do get pregnant, just keep it quiet and just speak to the people that you truly trust and that you know they love you and support you no matter what and i do feel like you're planning for the future in terms of your health and well-being i feel like you're making plans and you're trying to be practical about it um, and you're trying to look at things from a practical approach 
um, and getting in control of your health. So you could be looking at, you know, starting a new diet or a new fitness program. If this is the case, again, talk to an expert, not people around you because they may be jealous um, or have their own issues, okay? With the five of winter, it's not the best environment to be in. But again, it's just a week um, and this is general, so it's not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way. It could be just tiny energy that you're dealing with at one point during the week. Um, but yeah, just talk to an expert, okay? Um, or someone that you truly trust. And I feel like they're going to get you on the right track. And the guidance message for you is let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apology. So whatever's going on, just be grateful for what you have in your life. Be grateful for what you're receiving. Even if it's coming from the people who, you know, may not have the purest intentions, just enjoy the celebration, okay? Try not to focus on the negative and try not to get involved in what they are saying or doing or whatever. Focus on something that is positive in that situation because that's how you protect yourself from their negativity, okay? You keep yourself in a, in a positive bubble and surround yourself with positivity and white light. And so for whatever reason that they had to throw you that party, the important thing to focus on is that you have a party, okay? Just enjoy yourself. Don't look beyond that in terms of what are they trying to accomplish? What are they saying about me behind my back? Anything like that, okay? Um, and also this is a good week for you to focus on the balance between giving and receiving. So don't overextend yourself. Um, and don't give away too much of yourself. Don't try to help everyone uh, and do everything for them this week. This is a good week for you to set up some boundaries and say no um, and just focus on yourself for once, okay? So that's the message that I have for you, Libras. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope it applies. I hope it makes sense to you. Let me know if it does. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you have a positive week and I will talk to you soon. Take care.